Dear students, in this example, it is given that a resistance R ohm draws a current from a potentiometer as shown in the figure. The potentiometer has a total resistance of R naught ohm. A voltage V is supplied to the potentiometer, and uh, so we have to derive an expression for the voltage across this resistance. So we need to know the potential difference between this resistance is the question. So and there's one more thing given in the end of the question that is when sliding contact is in the middle of the potentiometer. That means this contact is in the middle of this resistor. So because it's in the middle, so we can assume that it we can break it into two resistors. That is R naught by two and R naught by two. Now the reason that I broke it into two equal uh, resistances, that is R naught by two, is simple because resistance is nothing but rho L by A. Now we already know that the more the cross section area, less is the resistance. The more the length, the greater the resistance. So if we break it down, so because it's directly proportional to the length, we will obtain two resist uh, resistors of R naught by two, R naught by two. Now to simplify this circuit. We will we will make an equivalent circuit for the same scenario in which you have a potential difference of V. So you you have a battery of V potential. So let's draw an equivalent circuit. It should look like this. This is the battery V, and we have R naught by two here. We have one more uh, resistor R naught by two. And this is the resistor about which we we need to know the potential difference or the voltage. So this is R, and this is given as V. So let's mark the different potentials. If we assume that the potential at this point is zero, so the potential at this point will also be zero because it's in the same conductor. And if the potential here is zero, so here it will be zero plus V because it is crossing the battery. So the potential here will also be V. Here also it will be V. So we are interested to find what is the potential difference between this resistor. So we will assume that let's say the potential at this point is X, and according to the KV uh, Kirchhoff voltage law, we can say at, at this junction point the total current going out, that means the current going uh, through this uh, end, this end, and this end should be zero. So the net current should be zero. So this is the easiest way to calculate what will be the potential at this point. So let's let's write that. So the current flowing in this direction can be written as x minus v upon R naught by two plus current flowing in this direction x minus zero upon R naught by two is equals to current flowing in this uh, direction plus X minus V upon R. So the net current flowing, addition of all, should be equal to zero. So this is the junction thing. So when when we start now with this, we know that the only unknown is X. Every other thing is known. So from here, from this equation, we can easily calculate the value of X, and we can at the end say that V minus X will be the answer to our question because V minus X represents the potential difference or the voltage. Across the resistor R. So let's calculate the value of X on the next page. So here, this equation would give us 2x minus V plus 2x upon R naught is equals to V minus X upon R. Now from here. We can easily derive this 4x minus 2v r is equals to v minus x r naught. Now let's take all the x to the left hand side. So when we do that, we will get this. We will first open it minus 2v r is equals to v r naught. Minus x r naught. So from here we will get the value of x as 4 r x into 4 r naught. 4 r plus r naught is equals to v r naught 
plus 2vr. So the value of x that we have got is x is equals to vr naught plus 2vr upon 4r plus r naught. So this is the value of x. So now we very precisely know what is the potential at this point in the given knowns. That is the knowns are v, r naught and r. So we know the value of x. We know the exact potential at that very point. So now what our answer would be simple. It would be as, uh, as I told you, it would be V minus X because this is the potential difference bet um, uh, uh, between the ends of the resistor R. So let's calculate what is V minus X. So V minus X when we do, it would be nothing but V of 4R plus R naught minus V R naught minus 2 V R upon 4 I'm just doing X minus V here 4 R plus R naught so when I calculate this the value that I'm going to get is 2 V R upon 4 R plus R naught so this will be the answer to our question so here we see that it was so simple that we just assume the potential at this point and we know what is being asked in the question what is being asked in the question is v minus x so the value of x can be easily found using this equation so it's a simple mathematical uh, relation that we get that v minus x is equal to 2 vr upon 4r naught 4r plus r naught so that will be the answer to our question